so uh, uh, here I am with the second video how to create e-content mm -hmm. once you install you know screen classify in a system and add it to your uh, Google Chrome uh, Google Chrome uh, extension it will uh, appear this icon it will this icon will appear over here and uh, once you click on this icon it will show you this window there's a default window which will uh, say that you know it's going to capture your desktop screen uh, with the microphone if you want your image to be included the part of the presentation you can click on embed webcam and click on record so once i i mean i don't want right now so i'll simply go with the record if you want you can click on this and click say record your image will also appear uh, right over here so i am simply clicking on the record part so when i click on record it will uh, show me the screen so uh, uh, this is the entire screen and if you have got the application window it's on to part of you know just want to show a specific uh, window you can click on application window but you know it's better to make use of entire screen right so whatever you're doing uh, will uh, be uh, displayed as a presentation so click on this and click on share yeah. Once you click on share, uh, it will show you, uh, you know, uh, this message that screen video recorder is sharing your screen. So you have two options, stop sharing and hide. Once you click on stop sharing, it will, you know, the recording will be uh, stopped. So right now, because we are in a process to record our presentation, so we'll simply hide it because otherwise, uh, otherwise, you know, this, uh, if you don't make use of the site, this will be a part of the presentation. I right? simply click on hide and uh, uh, open my presentation. Now this part is very very important your presentation should be ready your presentation should be ready you know before uh, moving on uh, to create a presentation okay so this is my presentation supposedly uh, i uh, you know i used whatever the content i just wanted to display to my students i displayed here and after that once it is done i'll simply uh, again click on this I'll come out of my application. I'll come out of my presentation. Click on this uh, icon. Uh, it will appear. Uh, it will. It will display this uh, window again. Either you can click on this or you can click on this because as you come out of the presentation, this message will again appear. So either you click on this or you click on this. Both are basically uh, used to stop your uh, presentation. So if I click on, let's say, this. You know it will uh, stop sharing and start storing your presentation to the drive it will it will show you that saving to drive that means your content uh, is is, is um, going to save uh, to the drive once it is saved you know uh, what you need to do you need to download it if you download it it will uh, save in WM format uh, and if you uh, click on, if you want to make use of this uh, for uh, uh, across the platform, you can click on uh, MP4, export as MP4. When you click on export as MP4, it will uh, show you this window. You click on export, and as you click on export, it will uh, show you, you know, again the progress bar with saying that exporting MP4. There's a name. You can change this name before saving it, whatever the name you want to do. And then after that, once it is done, you click on. Uh, you know the time uh, this download mp4 and if I download it uh, this will be downloaded in your uh, system uh, then you can uh, you know pass it on to your students or, uh, or, or you can upload it uh, in your YouTube you can upload your uh, you know the entire presentation uh, uh, through this publish to YouTube as well but before that you it's better to uh, watch your video if anything that you feel like you know uh, missing you can again uh, re-record it so that is all about uh, this uh, video thank you very much for watching it i hope you like it